it is great to be back at this flagship OIS event. ONL Therapeutics is an emerging biotech company that is dedicated to protecting the vision of patients with retinal disease. We are in developing first-in-class inhibitors of fast signaling, which has been shown to be relevant in a wide variety of retinal diseases, and ONL 1204 is our lead product candidate for retinal detachment with an IND expected next year. And earlier this year, we closed a $5 million financing from existing investors, including Novartis, as well as new investors, as well as a third grant from the NEI, for which we're very thankful. Uh, and this funding will enable us to complete our IND enabling studies, as well as continue the research uh, into additional indications. Before I get too far, I just want to say it's truly an honor to work with a hugely talented management team and a world-class scientific advisory board, many of whom you'll recognize. So ONL 1204 for retinal detachment, just give you a brief update on our progress. The first question is, why retinal detachment? And it's really, it's an easy answer. It's because there is a continuing and significant unmet medical need for these patients, especially those that have lost their central vision or have MAC-OFF detachments. Because in spite of the surgical techniques and success of surgeries performed by many people in this room, the average patient with a MAC-OFF detachment can expect to lose three to five lines of vision. And we think that there is a unique opportunity to treat these patients with an injection of ONL-1204 at the time of diagnosis in order to protect the retina until a successful surgery can be complete. We can match successful surgery with successful outcomes. Additionally, retinal attachment is a unique drug development opportunity because it is an acute anatomic event that is uh, surgically fixed fairly quickly and will lead to a rapid readout at approximately six months with an acuity endpoint. And additionally, because vitrectomy is the predominant surgical approach in this disease, we will have access to patient vitreous samples to enable the development and utilization of molecular biomarkers, which is really rare in the retina space. So as you can see here, ONL 1204 is an, an exquisite inhibitor of photoreceptor cell death in a retinal detachment model. And with a little love and a ton of effort, our team has developed a product candidate with really superb pharmaceutical properties. So we're on track to submit an IND in the middle of next year. We expect a financing in the same time frame. And as I mentioned, we closed a $5 million round Series A uh, in May of this year. So finally, I'd like to talk just a little bit about why we think targeting fast biology is so important. So fast pathway gets activated when the fast ligand binds to the receptor at the cell surface. And this activation leads to two distinct and independent signaling mechanisms. Most people are familiar with FAS's role in cell death, but we believe that FAS's role in immune response and inflammatory signaling may be equally or more important in retinal disease because it is this signaling which recruits immune cells to the site of injury or disease and reactivates the pathway, amplifying the signal, amplifying the death, amplifying the tissue damage. And ONL's peptides have been shown to be effective at blocking both types of these signals in a wide variety of disease models and a wide variety of cell types. Uh, previously, I've shared with this group work that we've done at ONL and at University of Michigan in models of retinal detachment and dry AMD. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about some exciting work we've been doing with uh, Meredith Gregory Cassander at Scapin's Research Institute in Boston. This is a glaucoma model. It's uh, the bead model of glaucoma, which leads to an acute elevation of IOP. And just a couple quick data points on this slide on the right. What you should notice is that IOP peaks at three days and continues for about a month, and that ONL 1204 does nothing good or bad for, for IOP. That's not what we do. So in the first experiment, we injected two doses of ONL 1204 at day zero. We then looked at these animals at day 28, and what you can see is that both doses were protective. There might be a dose response, but it wasn't significant. And we thought this was pretty nice and pretty exciting, but we wanted to ask a more clinically relevant question. What if we treated these subjects with drug after IOP has already been elevated? That's how we treat people clinically. So we did that. If you remember, IOP peaks at day three. 
We treated these animals at day seven. We waited till day 28. And you can see that the protection is just as good. And so clearly, we have a strong inhibitor of retinal uh, ganglion cell death as well as axon cell death. But we wanted to know, was there more going on? And as you might suspect, there was. We also looked at key inflammatory markers at day 28 in the retinas of these animals. We looked at MIP1-alpha, MCP1, and TNF-alpha. And you can see that from a single injection on day seven, we almost completely prevent the upregulation of these key markers at day 28. And that takes us to our clinical study, to retinal detachment, because when we look in the vitreous of retinal detachment patients, that have undergone surgery, we see that MIP1-alpha and MCP1 are the two most upregulated proteins in the vitreous of patients, building our confidence that we have the opportunity to bring better outcomes to RD patients. Thank you very much for your time, your attention, and I look forward to uh, more discussions through the day and the weekend.